So once uh, second coming, you guys, you guys looking forward to anything else coming out? Azariah, you got other stuff you're working on as well? Yeah, yeah. So um, as far as second coming goes, we got like three visuals lined up. And just the way Quest has been stretching it out with the marketing and the singles and the artwork, you know, we're going to have, um, I don't know if I'm going to tell you this, but we're going to have some CDs with it. We're getting ready to do that now. Um, I'm working on some other things as well. Um, Fighter Spirit, that's going to be another young, black, and gifted um, project. We're done with that as well. Like I said, we did Black Gift, Second Coming, Fighter Spirit, all in like the, the, like around the same time. So it's like I'm, I'm still in that pocket on those three projects. I got a project with my man Laddie called Return to Sloppy Smooth. Got a couple good features on there. Um, and then I got another project with my brother Najee Jordan from Chicago. Um, and that's, that's called uh, um, Self Proclaimed King. So just getting ready to do those, but right now all my focus is on this, making sure this is, you know, does what it's supposed to. And then when I do those other projects, making sure that I take the the the, the steps and have a presentation right so it can impact kind of like what we're doing with this. No doubt. Is there anyone that either of you guys, you know, want to work with in the future, whether it's a certain artist, Quest, or Azariah, or, I don't know, I want to work with M Dot. M Dot, that's what's up, no doubt. We'll, we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. I was in, a, in the underground, man, that I, that I would love to, you know, spar with. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of artists I uh, that I like to do some work with. Um, shoot, um, definitely would like to do some with Killer Mike in the future. That's what's up. Yeah, Killer Mike. I know me and M Dot definitely gotta do something too. We definitely gotta get um get something knocked out too. As a matter of fact, I ran the M Dot not that long ago at um the pop was that the pop smoke not the pop smoke um the pop dukes on the bumpy knuckles um the bumpy knuckle um album release party back in was that twenty nineteen? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah the pop duke joined um the joint with him and Knox. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's so many people I want to do some work with. But, um, yeah, so when that time comes, yeah, we definitely about to definitely about to do something. But my, my goal work, work so, you know what I'm saying, a goal of mine is just to get on these people's radar. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's not like, oh, he paying me for a feature. Let me just, it's, it's all business. I want I want the uh, respect to be mutual. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can buy your way in, but if somebody doesn't respect you, it's, it's just only going to cost. It's only going to cost more money. Yeah. We got some uh, questions from some of the people here following us. Uh, dream performance venue. Where where would you guys like to perform the most? MSG. I don't have nowhere specific. Um. Anywhere where the people are, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pretty much. You know? Yeah, it's a good answer. <laughs> respect, yeah. respect is the ultimate currency, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely what it is, man. You know, you know that stand your ground, hold your morals, your integrity, and you know that respect. You know. Yeah. What sites show y'all the most love? Sure. Uh, it's a lot of them, man. Like a lot of people been actually like a lot of people been catching on, getting tuned in. Uh, I know Weekly Rap Guys is one of them. Simonac Magazine, they definitely is one of them. Uh, my man Van Digital. Yep. Um, Hip Hop Since '87. Uh, there's a lot of them, man. Nine Elements. Shout out to them. Shout out to, shout out to um, Solo Vibes. Uh, who else can I think of, man? It's been it's a lot, man. It's like, man, it's like this. What works hard. It's just good to to be getting the love, man, and to you know have the write ups and all of that, man. Because like I said, if you're making great music, but it's falling on deaf ears, it's like, what are you doing? Like, what's the point? You you want you want people to to feel where you're coming from and to relate and to connect. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the demographic we in. Um, you know, hip hop is older now, so you know it's like it's it's more outlets. And it's more, um, it's more things you could do than just trying to do what the young kids is doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you kind of like y'all slogan, you know, online. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I feel like me and Quest is carving our own lane in, in, in our in our right we in our own lane as well. For sure. You know. With that being said, what advice do you have for other independent producers or MCs? This is one of the questions we have here. How to stay focused and connected without having all this kind of drama? Man, what just, advice? Just keep working, man, and keep chasing your goals. And, you know, go with your gut feeling with things and don't listen to what other people got to say, man. Only listen to the people that already been down the road you're trying to hit. You know, take that advice. But as far as everything else, you know, just keep working. Yeah. Hustle hard. Don't stop, right? Yeah. But then it's like you gotta you gotta be smart about it too. Yeah, definitely gotta be smart you know, about it. You that's know? what that's what I'm learning from Quest. You know, cause because Quest got, you know, a lot of projects under his belt. You know, even stuff he's done just him and same with me. You know, so it's like as time goes on and we keep dropping more and more, it's like, you know, now you got the the the, the, the streaming services and you, you can track your analytics, you can see what countries is playing, and you can see if you got a female fan base, a male fan base, what, what the ages are and all that. So it's like, I'm still learning how to how to capitalize that and use that, you know what I'm saying, to, to my advantage, you know what I'm saying? So going back to long time coming, 2012, 2013, here we are, second coming, 2020. What's the biggest struggle for you guys in this business where when you look at way back then you know cds was still we didn't have streaming yet as big as it is today and so as far as the business goes and i'm not just talking streaming and getting people to listen to music i'm talking shows and promoters and engineers what's the biggest struggle you guys see and that you deal with every day uh, big struggle is probably be like, you know, getting these shows and, you know, like trying to get to certain, trying to perform at certain places and all that and trying to get the music to a certain point. Cause, you know, we coming from, you know, when CDs is popping, like when you actually be out in the street interacting with people and everything, you know, meeting people face to face, talking to them, you know, introducing yourself. So now it's like, all right, they got the, so it's the social media era now, really like it's bigger now than ever. And so with shows and all that too, like, Coming from the rock, you know, not a lot of venues mess with hip hop like that. Yeah, that's you know another thing. Because you know, it has it has a negative connotation. They, you know, these promoters they not really hip around here like that. So they don't know that okay, this is this may be this or this may be that. They they group it all as one. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like really, even though we got this COVID going on, even before that, it's not really like a main state of uh, venues to perform here in Rochester like that. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't even our focus. We trying to get out. Like like when we seen you in Boston, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, yeah, where, yeah. where I was able to, you know, do a couple couple songs that night, man. That, that, that was a blessing. But just, just to get seen in other places, man, and, and to keep building the resume, so to speak, so we can come at these promoters with numbers and, yo, we did this, we did that, and, you know, get familiar with our, our, our stuff. Because, like, that's really where it's at, man, is, is the stage. If you can't perform, you can be in the studio you know, rapping all day, but if you can't convey that same energy live, you know, it's like, you know, you're kind of selling the people short, you know what I'm saying? So definitely want to um, get, get on more stages, man. Like, I, I want to do festivals and stuff like that, you know, stuff where it's like people that cater to the lane that we in, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of shows where people, when they may be on some drill, you know, type of stuff or some trap. And I'm, I'm here doing this, you know, this hardcore East Coast boom bap stuff. They might not be, you know, ready for that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like getting in where you fit in. You know what I mean? And, and I know, you know, it's a big world out there. And it's, it is, you know, places and, and, and venues that cater. And, uh, and other artists, too, that, that cater to the to the lane we in or, or doing what, what, what we do. So definitely want to get um, in, in them circles more, you know. Now, this is a business, the rap industry, rap music. Mm -hmm. What do you think's missing as far as, like, how to help an artist get... I mean, you can go on YouTube and watch entrepreneur videos for days. You can watch how to mix, master a song, how to build your own home studio. 
as independent artists yourselves, what do you, what do you look for in a mentor or somebody to help you in the business achieve that next level? Artist development. Okay. Specifically, okay. specifically what quest? Like, you know, it's not really a lot of artist development out there no more. Like how it used to be maybe like 10, 10, 15 years ago. Like it's like now a lot of people just, they come out, like they come up, some people get lucky and, you know, get real popular for a minute and then vanish. But it, like, it's nobody really teaching them like a lot of these dudes how to, you know, keep the work coming, but, you know, do you. And, you know, a lot of people come out trying to mimic, you know, a lot of other stuff. And when it comes to certain things, you know, it, a lot of stuff just don't last. Like how it once did at one point because they had people sitting there constantly mentoring artists, you know, mentoring them, telling them, you know, showing them, like, you know, work on this, work on that. A lot of people don't got that. And then it's like, it's people that do do it, but it's like real janky. Like, you got, I'm not going to mention no names in terms of like these companies that, you know, you got to pay to perform and then, you know, they, they critique you and this and that, but they not even really, you know, in tune to the, to the culture. They just, you know, trying to get it, trying to get a check and, and, and you know, and, and write you off. So it's kind of hard to find like that genuine, like unadulterated um, um, mentorship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's an art. Some people want to get paid for their art, and other people want to get paid off of your art. And some people, <laughs> they just want to make art. You know. Especially nowadays, yeah, because a lot of yeah, it's a lot of pay to play. Yeah. Pay to play, and then I'll give you an example. Pay to play, like I, I did this one, um, this one show. I'm not gonna mention the name of the little company that it was, but you know, like they critique was was like more so. Oh well, you you should wear this, or you should you should make a song like this, or see if if, if, you, if you give me advice like that, then you don't even know what I do. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not I'm not one of them types. I, I could be fly all day, but it's about it's about them bars. You know what I'm saying? Like it's about them bars before anything and. In the culture, that's been lost, you know what I'm saying? Like, you listen to the radio, they playing the same song 30, 30 times on like four different uh, stations. It, it's, it's no diversity as far as radio goes as it was like in the, in, the, in the 80s and the 90s. But then you have like, you know, your satellite radio and all that that shows a little bit more, um, you know, diversity, you know what I'm saying? But even, even, even that, I feel like it's kind of like, kind of like the same thing on the underground, you know, everybody, got the stripped down beats, you know, everybody, you know, talking about this and that, you know what I'm saying? So it's good to have that variety. And, and that's, that's, that's what this second coming album is going to give you, that variety. It ain't just, you know, you know, um, the same, the, the same old, same old, but it's like, it's like, it's different, you know? 